Good morning. Good morning. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, good morning. Let's start this day with some clothes and making the bed. Making the bed is setting the mood for the day, but I'm really bad at this. I usually forget, and it ends up being Rickard who makes the bed. So, yeah, <laughs> after this, I prioritize to make Alva's breakfast because he needs to eat before preschool and he takes a long time before he eats up his whole sandwich. I'm usually all over the place when I do this because, yeah, I have a morning break. Food is ready. Depending on Alva's mood and the time frame, during the morning, I may not always do this step, but brushing out my hair and putting it up in a ponytail is like so important for me. Um, also, washing my face and putting some moisturizer during winter time, it's, it's one of the most important steps in the morning for me because I have so dry skin. But it's not always I get the time to do this because sometimes Alvar is a handful in the morning with a very bad mood. <laughs> so, but I try my best to do this. Uh, if not in the morning, I do it when I get back home after leaving Alvar to preschool. And this is also a very calming step for me to just get a second to focus on myself and pamper myself for the day. After this, I usually take out his outdoor clothes, so we are prepared to <laughs> tackle this process. It's not always easy to motivate him to go outside. And I also take out his uh, everyday normal clothes, of course, and put it on the couch while he's eating breakfast. And today he was watching Frozen, which is one of his favorite movies. When I'm done with this, I take a cup of yogurt and I sit down next to Alvan and hang out with him. And yeah, I think it's important to get that moment with your son as well. And at this point, Rickard is home from the gym. So we don't usually have the time to sit down and talk for long, but just a quick hi, and he's getting ready for work, of course. Um, this process is the worst, putting on clothes. So he was totally fine with me doing it first. And then he wanted to do it all by himself. So, of course, we had to take everything off and start over again and I'm trying to keep my cool and you know give him the option to do it all over again but it's difficult because he has a morning mood for sure and I really need to count to 10 and try to breathe and be focused on just getting it done. As you may know, we cut bangs on him a while ago, but we're trying to get that to grow out. So <laughs> we always have to put his hair up in a ponytail on his head to free some space from his little cute face, and especially when he's at preschool. <laughs> and today he was actually so sweet and nice, putting on his outdoor clothes. He was very helpful and not complaining, which is kind of unusual, if I'm going to be honest. And at this point, the entrance room or hallway is 
getting very crowded with all of us and soon we will be four. Jeez, how will we manage? <laughs> Uh, this is the point where me and Rikad often discuss the day if he have any meetings so I don't disturb him in the wrong hour and he says his goodbye to Alvar and yeah, so... Oh, and oopsie, he almost forgot to say goodbye to me. <laughs> oh jeez. Ja, men vi ska ju gå dit. But seriously though, this is where my morning starts. I've been like a zombie until this point. Getting some fresh air really wakes me up. It's not far for from us to <laughs> Alba's preschool, but yeah, some fresh air always helps. So I usually just clean up around the apartment before I make myself some breakfast because I really need that clean space to allow myself to relax. So tidying it up is important. My mornings always start with a cup of tea. I can't live without a cup of tea, and especially during winter time. I just need it. Super important. <laughs> and yeah, obviously drinking water is also important, but I would say tea is my priority. And this is a very standard breakfast for me. Two sandwiches, a glass of juice and a cup of tea. And this sets the day for me. And I usually watch uh, Netflix series or maybe YouTube some days and enjoy my breakfast all by myself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed my morning routine with my family. And I see you next week. Bye guys!